Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 8a and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started, you will want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen like so, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. On one of the pages we should have our screen recording toggle. For me it is visible on the second page right over here. Simply tap on it once you find it. And once you tap on it, it does give you this window right here, letting you choose what kind of audio will be recorded. So in the drop-down menu, we have three choices, device, microphone, both. And obviously if it's turned off, it's not going to record any audio. And then below that, we have show touches on the screen, which will record a semi-transparent gray dot where my finger was pressing the display. Now, when it comes down to the audio, if you're planning to uh, record both microphone and device audio, I would recommend using some kind of headphones for this uh, as if you don't, you might have a echo effect where the microphone is picking up the sound that is coming from the speakers and obviously it's going to also record the device audio internally. So it's recording the same audio twice at that point. Anyway, from here we're going to select start and it begins a countdown and then starts recording with a notification pop. And whatever you'll do right now will be recorded. There is some limitations to it. If you open up some kind of applications, they might not be always recorded as they do have the option to block your screen recorder without your permission. And once you're done recording, you can pull down your notifications and then select stop. Now, talking about the applications that can block screen recorder, this is done to protect the user of the device. So as an example where this is actually useful, if you have a bank application and for some reason you manage to download some kind of malware that is spying on your screen and for instance trying to see what kind of pins you use in your bank application, uh, that application with this kind of feature wouldn't be able to see anything. All it would see is just a straight up black screen and nothing to it. Uh, but that being said, this is the optimal use case scenario for this feature where it's not an optimal is for basically most of the applications that would use this that have zero business using it like as an example Netflix um, and furthermore Netflix tends to block any kind of screen recording uh, screenshots as well without you ever agreeing to any kind of terms of service terms of use uh, or conditions and without you ever logging into it which I would argue is kind of intrusive Considering this is your device and the application that comes pre-installed with the phone decides to what it's going to do on your own device. But anyway, with that being said, let's uh, now find our screen recording, which will be under the Photos tab. And it will be visible somewhere in the Photos tab right here. It looks like it gets categorized as a movie. So you can tap on the text itself and this will take you to basically everything that is categorized as a movie. And you can find your screen recordings in here. Uh, so there it is playing back now now going back you can also find albums by going into the search tab and here we have all the available albums right now so we have videos favor well, basically we have just videos it looks like as should also have a camera for some reason that isn't really showing up here it's I, I guess on their 360 photos and videos so anyway, um, as you can see, we have different categories right here, which you can also access. But anyway, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.